A hard assert stops execution after a failure, but a soft assert continues execution after a failure. It is best to use a hard assertion if there is only one result to verify in the same test function. If there is more than one test to verify, if there's more than one result to verify in the same test function, then it is best to use a soft assertion. The key is how many assert statements are located in your test. One assert or more than one assert. Now, let's go to this website so we can see how to implement soft assert. The website is pipi.org forward slash project forward slash soft test. We see this package supports the soft assert style of testing where multiple assertions can fail within the same method and we consider it test function. Now the key is when it shows multiple assertions can fail. That's why we use soft assertion. If I scroll down the page, it shows how we can implement soft tests. Scroll back up right quick and we see how it extends the unit test dot test case class. Unit test is a different type of test framework from PyTest. However, both frameworks are for Python. If I go to PyTest website, we see the header says how to use unit tests based tests with PyTest. PyTest supports running Python unit test based tests out of the box. So Python, Python, PyTest supports unit tests. And since PyTest supports unit tests, let's install soft tests. Go to the terminal and we're going to paste pip install soft test. And I already have soft test, but I want to just show you the command because we see it says requirement already satisfied. Let me uninstall it right quick just in case you want to see the thing from beginning to end. And now I'm going to paste again and you will see how it's going to show installed successfully when it finish. You see how it shows successfully installed soft tests 1.2.0.0. Now, in the file, I'm going to create a new file. Right click demo pod test new Python file and write test underscore assertions underscore soft. And let me paste the same information. However, we will replace the hard assert with soft assert. The first step is to import soft test. And within the class parenthesis, let's add soft test dot test case. Now, when it comes to each function, it must include the self parameter. And for this soft part, let's indent the function. Other way it would not work. You see how the name change self from gray to purple? That's why I indent the function. There I go. Now, the purpose of self is to represent the instance of the class. With that representation, we can access the attributes and methods of the class. <laughs> For this test function, test lambda test, radio button, demo value, I'm going to replace all three 
of these hard assert statements with soft assert. And the statements are going to have the same type of comparison, is, contains, and in. So for the first one, let's write self dot soft assert. Within the parentheses, let's write self dot assert is. And within that part, I'm going to write, let's, let's add this to the next line. Because I want to make room. I really do want to make room so we can have everything on this one page. Okay, so now what we're going to compare is male is the same as gender. Now we know it's going to fail, but we're just comparing the same information. Gender is not correct, is the message. So let me now erase the hard assertion. Now for containing, we're going to write self dot soft assert. And within that, we write self dot assert true. And after assert true, I'm going to write driver dot title. Then let me also add this to the next line. I really want to continue making room. So the writing is big. Driver dot title contains copy and paste selenium grid on line and that is not contains as count so let me just start that over because it should be two underscores before contains and two score two underscores after contains now paste the value bingo the last one we're going to use self dot a soft assert and for that part let's write self dot assert in. Now we're going to make sure 51 is in comma age group. That's all we need. Let's also add the message of age group is not correct. Now we have those three assert statements replaced with self assert. There's one more concept when it comes to self assert. And when dealing with self assert, we must always include self dot assert underscore all. Always included at the end of each test function. If not, then the test will pass every time although we know the test should fail. For example, I'm going to show you by commenting out the cert all statement, going to the terminal, and we're going to run the test again. You know what? Let me run it for that particular self assert file. Well, I don't have to. It shows right here anyway. I'm going to run it for that particular file, but it shows that it passed. And we know that it should not pass. So let me go back and now remove the comment. And you see how it's supposed to run when we include assert all. Bingo. This time we see failed for test assertions.softpy because it's supposed to fail because it's not correct. Now, if I scroll up, we see how it looks in the console. We see failure two and we see failure one. And if you wanted to, I will show you one more thing right quick. 
when it comes to assert all. If you wanted to, you can also add a statement. For instance, verify gender, title, and how about age group? If you wanted to add a message to your assert all, we can do that. Now, when it comes to that part, we see that in the console, in the terminal, it shows the difference between hard assert and soft assert. If I scroll up, we see the failures. Failure one shows, yes, it shows the information we need. It shows the assertion error. Male is not male. Gender is not correct. That's the first failure. For failure two, the assertion error, it shows 51 not found in 15 to 50. Age group is not correct. And that's what we expect it to show both failures because a soft assert is needed when you're verifying more than one result in the same test. Let me run it right quick with this assert all so you can see how it looks when you add that information. Okay, so we see the same information, assertion error for the second failure, assertion error for the first failure. However, look what it shows when we add that string to assert all. Verify gender, title, and age group. It shows that whenever we have a failure. And that's the difference between a hard assert and a soft assert. The hard assert stops running after the first failure, but the soft assert continues running after the first failure. 